All right, let's talk about the future of auto hotkey. Today, we're diving into the next big step forward for one of the most powerful automation tools out there. We're breaking down the next major evolution, Auto Hotkey V2.1. Just think about it for a second. What if your scripts could do more, but with cleaner, more intuitive code? What if the GUIs you build could finally look sharp and professional on any monitor? And what if you could package up your best work and share it with others, like really easily? Well, let's get into it. AutoHockey v2.0 was a huge step, right? It totally modernized the language and gave us a solid new foundation. Now, v2.1 is here to build on top of that, and it's giving us programmers a whole new box of toys to play with. So let's explore what that new power actually looks like. So first things first, let's talk about the actual experience of writing the code. Version 2.1 introduces some really powerful new syntax that's all about making your code cleaner, more readable, and honestly, just way more efficient. It's about getting rid of old headaches and embracing modern ways of coding. Oh man, this one is a big deal. You know the drill, right? To get to some deeply nested property, you had to write those awful, long, if is set this, and is a set that, and is a set the other thing chains. So clunky. Well, not anymore. Meet optional chaining. That little question mark and dot is a lifesaver. It just tells the script, hey, try to access this, but if any part of the path is missing, don't crash, just stop safely. It's an absolute game changer for writing cleaner, safer code. And the improvements don't stop there. There's a whole bunch of other quality of life upgrades. Modelist menus mean your tray menu no longer freezes your entire script. Awesome. You can define simple little functions right on the fly wherever you need them. You even get more flexibility in your function design, since you can now have optional parameters in the middle of the list. But for anyone running background scripts, this last point is huge. Key waiting functions like pause and process wait close have been optimized to use practically zero CPU. That's a massive efficiency gain. Okay, so our code is getting smarter, but what about what our users actually see? Let's talk GUIs. For years, getting AutoHotKey GUIs to look sharp on modern, high-resolution screens has been, well, a bit of a challenge. Version 2.1 tackles this problem head-on. This is one of the biggest upgrades, seriously. Before, scripts were system DPI aware, which often meant you'd get blurry text if you dragged a window from a 1080p monitor over to a 4K one. The new default is per monitor DPI aware. So in simple terms, your GUIs are now smart. They know the resolution of whatever monitor they're on, and they automatically scale themselves to look perfectly crisp and sharp. And as a bonus, the coordinate system now works with actual physical pixels, so placing controls is way more predictable and logical again. And here's the best part. You don't have to do a thing. This isn't some new feature you have to code for. It's just the new, smarter default behavior. Your scripts will just look professional on modern hardware, right out of the box. For anyone who builds GUIs, this is a massive quality of life upgrade. Okay, so you're writing cleaner code, you're building better looking UIs. What's the next logical step? Organizing all that great code in a professional way. Version 2.1 finally introduces a proper module system, moving us beyond simple hashtag include files and into a world of truly reusable and shareable code. The easiest way to think about this is like building with Lego kits. In your module file, you use the export command to mark the specific functions and classes you wanna share. That's your finished kit. Then in your main script, you just write a single line, import. That's you grabbing the kit off the shelf. Instantly, you can use all those imported functions just as if they were built into the language. And finally, the best part, you can share that module file, letting the whole community build with your amazing creations. So when you put all of this together, the smarter syntax, the professional looking GUIs, the reusable modules, it really represents a fundamental shift. Your focus can move away from fighting with the language's quirks and more toward just pure creation. So let's recap your new toolkit. You've got much cleaner code that's safer and easier to write. You've got smarter GUIs that look fantastic on any monitor by default. You've got a professional way to organize and share reusable code. And underneath it all, you have a more performant engine that's way more respectful of your system's resources. So really, the only question left is this. With all these powerful new tools at your fingertips, What's the first problem you are going to solve? The future of auto hotkey scripting is looking brighter than ever. That's all for this explainer. Happy scripting.